and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to automatically get filled values in the fields of Clapier apps by passing values in URLs. Let me take an example of an inventory app that I've created, which you can see here on my Clapier dashboard. Here I have fields to capture item details for my inventory and add the amount of new stock coming in. Now, if you have apps that need to have a lot of details filled in, which you could rather get it automatically, I will show you one simple method of auto-filling values in the fields when an app is opened by passing values in the URL of your app. For example, I have this URL of the same app I opened and slightly modified it. I'll just copy this. When I paste it over here and click on enter, it opens the app with pre-filled values. I can then go ahead, fill in other fields or make changes to the pre-filled fields if I need to and submit. So let's see how to do that. Once you open your app in your dashboard, go to design app where you can see all the fields with their variable name. In the URL, remove till the app ID which is this and it will be different for every app. Then add a question mark symbol followed by the variable name of the field that you need to prefill. So for example, if it is item code, then this is the variable name. You can simply click on the field and copy the variable name on the right panel, paste it over here in the URL, equals to the value that needs to be filled in. So I'll just put in some random item code and then click on enter. The item code has now automatically filled in in the item code field. If you want multiple fields to be filled in simultaneously, you can do that as well. So I'll go back to the design app, modify the URL. So right after the app ID, it will be the question mark symbol followed by the variable name equals to the value. Now for the next field to be filled in, which will be item type, in the URL, I will add the symbol ampersand and then give this field's variable. So I'll just copy this variable name. You can change the variable name if you wish, in case it is too lengthy. For now, I'll just keep it the same. So in the URL, I will give the variable name of the item type field equals to the value, another ampersand symbol followed by the brand or make field and finally the price field. Do ensure that the variable name that you enter over here in the URL is the same in your app. It is case sensitive as well. Now I click on enter. The values have now been filled. I can then go ahead and fill in the rest of the details of this app which is just this field. If I need to, I can make some changes to the pre-filled fields and then click on submit. You can view all the submissions under the Submissions tab. This method is useful if you want to share or embed these URLs. In the Design app itself, you can go to Step 5, which is Distribute, and use the Link Sharing option to allow a user to use the web app version. On the right-hand panel, enable the Link Sharing option and alter this URL. All you'll have to do is enter the modification starting from the question mark symbol after this URL. So let's test that. I'll copy this. I will log out of my profile and enter the URL with the added extra bit. So you can share links to users to submit information with the pre-filled values. I'll go back, log into my profile, click on the inventory app, go to the design app and then go back to the distribute tab. You can also embed this URL onto your website by clicking on embed on website and on the right hand panel enable this option copy this code and where the url is add the extra bit after this followed by the rest and that's it this will also work on the mobile app all you'll have to do is download the clapia app if you haven't already either on play store or app store and the moment you create your app it'll be live and ready to use let me take another case let's say for my inventory every item has a qr code you can embed the url in the qr code scan it and use the app. I'll just configure one QR code online by embedding the modified URL of the Clapia app. I'll download it. And now I'll scan the code with my mobile device. I'll open the image scanner. The embedded URL comes up. Once I click on it, I can select the Clapia app. It has opened the app with the pre-filled values. So in this way, you can automatically get filled values in the fields of Clapia apps by passing values in URLs. If you have any query on how to configure this or on any other feature in Clapia, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapia.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.